Let's see if it starts it up. Predator has come out with this new 5,000 starting watt, 3,900 running watt, pure sign inverter, dual fuel. You run it on propane or gas, which is fantastic. Remote start, which is huge for me as well. And it's got a bunch of new features as opposed to the last uh, model of this one that came out probably, I think, seven or eight years ago. But this thing is packed full of cool features. Great things for, you know, the DIY guys. You can see me opening up the box here. Let's get into some of the things here. Basically, I got this for tailgating, rolled in and out, larger wheels. I think they're all solid plastic, so easier for the wife, myself. Obviously, we can transport it around. It does weigh 109 pounds without any fuel. So just keep that in mind. You can see me struggling a little bit right here. But yeah, 109 pounds, nice big wheels, so it's going to definitely help. It does come with the handle still underneath the carriage. It comes out, so this is going to be really cool, actually. Very. This is why I got this generator. It has definitely got some great features opposed to the last going out model. You still have your pole string start. You have a couple other things in here you guys can see. 30 amp RV plug, regular 120 volts right there. But basically, a couple things, let's go through it. So you need to add oil, 20 ounces of oil. You need to make sure you don't start it inside like I do here. But I've, I have the garage door open. I just started it real quick just for this video. Nothing crazy. I've not put any load on this thing at all. This is just basically a kind of a look and see video, me looking at it, making sure everything's working and I don't need to return it right away. This does, Harbor Freight did a great job. This thing comes with multiple jettings for different different altitudes. Uh, it, you know, you've got a manual choke. I mean, this thing, they thought some of this stuff through for sure. So, I mean, you have a tool-free air box. This is nice. I like those little pulls, those little screw off tabs, getting into the access to this to, I mean, I'm hooking up the battery right now. So, and adding oil, of course. So. Very nice, very compact, and I will say super quiet. Um, on concrete, I think it's around 60 decibels, but obviously on anything but concrete, you're going to get below 60 decibels. And it's fantastic. you got 3,900 running watts. This is going to power most anything, obviously, we're ever going to need in a tailgating for sure, multiple TVs, whatever it is. But yeah, for everybody else, you got the 30 amp RV plug. The telescopic handle is fantastic. You get an external regulator. That it comes with an external regulator for the propane, which is nice as well. So I think Harbor Freight and Predator in general just did a great job here with this. And again, I do have multiple Predator generators. I've got a 9,500 watt pure sign one. And I like this. I like the digital gauge. When you guys see me starting it up, you can see how many you know watts you're pulling, what your engine hours and stuff. I wish the uh, 9,500 Predator generator, inverter generator came with that. So new fuel cap, and you have a mechanical fuel um, gauge there as well to see how you know how much you're running right there. So, and again, very easy access to both sides, changing oil and everything, and of course the telescopic handle, quite long actually from what I was you know, what I was expecting. So that's very nice. I mean, this is this is very good for what we need it for for sure. So. All I got to say is the remote start is very, very welcome. Obviously, you got a push button start as well. I didn't hear any rattling or anything like that. Very quiet, 100%. And of course, um, you got the digital readout right there. So again, in conclusion, guys, this thing is going to be amazing for tailgating, amazing for what we need. 3,900 running watts. And again, 3,600 if you're running on propane. Dual fuel is fantastic. Sometimes you don't have, you know, you don't have gas. You know, attach a propane tank to it and keep it running. So I appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. I'm looking to put this thing to work.